Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander, and this is going to be a demonstration of how to use my Cato CRUD generator tool to generate forms for Drupal 7. Jumping right in, the first thing I'm going to show is my Drupal 7 installation, and right here showing that the slash projects URI does not respond. Then the first thing I'm going to do is create the list portion of the form. This is going to be a HTML table list. And what I'm doing right now is I'm generating the first uh, module code, which is for the menu, so that sets up all the slash projects URIs. And then right here, I am um, generating some skeleton code. So this is skeleton code that will respond at URLs like uh, slash projects, slash projects, slash add, uh, slash projects, slash edit, and so on. So right here I'm showing that slash projects is now responding. And the next thing I'm going to do is generate the code for the HTML table, the tabular list. Generating the table code is pretty fast. It's a matter of just coming over to Cato, uh, generating the code, and coming back over into my Drupal module, pasting the code, and then refreshing the browser. This is an HTML table. It's sortable and has a pager. Next, I'm going to create the add form. This is a two-step process. So you see the first thing here I'm doing is creating uh, generating a reusable form that can be used for both the add and edit process. I generate that code, come over to another file, paste it in there, and I also have automatically generated two date fields which correspond to date fields in the table, but I don't want those in my form, so I just went ahead and deleted those. Uh, the next thing I need to do after creating the reusable form component is come back in and generate the add code itself. And this is code for the add process. So I've generated that code, I'll copy it, and then paste it back into my Drupal module, make a couple of short changes, and then the add process will work. The changes I'm making here are related to uh, timestamp fields. Uh, it's possible that I can generate these better, but right now I'm not. So I do have a function called get current timestamp, so I just apply that for those two. And then the user ID, um, I get the Drupal user ID with that code right there. As soon as I go to the add form right here, you'll see that it actually works, but the name and uh, project count type fields are reversed from what I'd like. They're generated in the order. Um, they're listed in the database table, but it's not an order I want here. I'm also getting rid of the required tags for those last two fields. So I change the weights here, go back to the form, um, refresh the form, and everything's right. And when I save this, it'll show up in the table. Next up, I'm generating code for the delete process. This is very simple. Go over to the Cato, generate the delete code, copy and paste it into my Drupal module, um, and everything works. In the final step in the process, I'm going to generate the code for the um, edit process. Uh, the first thing I'm doing here is I'm modifying the uh, table code. I'm changing one line, and then as you see in that first column, you can now click an element to edit it. Then I come over here, generate the edit code, then do the same thing I did for the add process, just copy and paste this over into the Drupal module, change the timestamp and user ID fields, and then the edit form works. So as I mentioned, once I finish editing these fields, I can go back to the form, click edit, and you'll see that the edit process works just fine. At this point, we're done. Our Drupal form works. Uh, total development time here was 4 minutes and 18 seconds. As a little extra credit, what I'd like to show here is that the table that I generated includes a pager. So as I add more elements, you'll see that now the uh, pager shows up beneath the table. One last thing I'd like to show here is how to change this project count type field. There's no way for you to know that, but that field should actually either be a drop-down list or a radio button. And what I'm going to do is generate it as a, a radio button. 
So I've got some code here with the uh, three options, and I'm just going to change the form real quick, uh, redisplay the page, and then you'll see that the radio buttons show up right here. Once again, this was my Cato CRUD generator tool uh, demonstrating how to create forms for Drupal 7. It showed how Cato can generate list, add, delete, and edit forms for Drupal 7. And as you saw, the total time for this was 4 minutes and 18 seconds. Thank you for watching. My name is Alvin Alexander, and the company name is devdaily.com.